devs have listened. Gen, not Genshin, Hoyoverse has listened. Subscribe, please! Hello there! I just saw a post on the Twitter on the X platform from Zenless Zone Zero. Redo Renovation Talk Volume 1. And uh, I kind of want to go over it. There's a lot of information in there. And uh, let's, let's just jump right in. Hi, proxies. Since the official release of ZZZ, many enthusiastic proxies have been attracted to new every day to visit and explore. I would like to thank each and every proxy, blah, 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 blah. I kind of... I just want to go to the information. Every time we see how the character and stories resonate with you and how eagerly you are waiting for new content, we truly feel that the city is becoming more real and alive. We received invaluable feedback from you, such as improving the connection between the HDD TV mode and combat experience, offering more diverse and challenging combat options, and optimizing some repetitive exploration experiences. In the first issue of the Redo Renovation Talk, we'd love to discuss some of the main issues raised in your feedback and share our current plan for optimizing the game and future updates. This is amazing. They are just taking the reins and communicating. It's amazing. I love this. And this is... It's not a... I'm not gonna cry victory too fast. But this is very good. This is a very good step in the right direction because generally speaking, hold your verse has tended to not communicate with the community that much. So, optimization expected to be implemented in version 1.1. 1. In terms of the narrative experience, in the latest story mission of version 1.1, for the first time, you will be able to interact with new Eridu's neighborhood and fight through levels to advance the story's progress from the perspective of the mission's protagonist. Ooh. A button for manual chain attack mode will be added to the squad lineup interface before entering combat. In this mode, after stunning an enemy, your action will not trigger other agents' chain attacks. Additionally, a cancel chain attack combo function will be added to combat, allowing you to choose whether to use the manual chain attack mode according to your preferences. Well, I really, this is awesome. Uh, the first part is cool, but the second part here is absolutely awesome. Wait, wait, wait. Neighborhood. I don't think this means that you can switch your characters in the neighborhood, but maybe that means that, that this might happen in the future, instead of just walking around as Belle or... or whatever freaks decide to pick the male character out there. <laughs> Sorry. So here this is very nice that we have the option to cancel chain attack. Sometimes chain attack combo actually a DPS loss and you want to just wait it out so you can actually just keep using your main DPS. Uh, so this is nice that we'll add a function to cancel it. Um, so yeah, there it is. Um, in terms of combat, we have added a series of challenging combat missions and game modes that will be continuously updated. All proxies are welcome to try them out in the new version. Ooh, interesting. That's looking forward to that. Um, in Shu, I mean, this could be anything, right? But hopefully it's something good. I'm interested to wait for new um, information in that regard. In Shio Defense, we have improved the display of enemies that resistances, making it easier for you to select suitable agents for each challenge. Quality of life, that's good. After unlocking a new agent, the internet avatar of that agent will be automatically unlocked. Now you can select your favorite agent as your internet avatar. That's great. I know it's a, such a small thing, but today I was checking my avatar because I have the ugly cat one and all the other ones are even worse. I was like, ugh. <laughs> I know it's not a big deal, but I hated it. The battle menu interface on mobile device will allow you to customize certain UI button with a preset plan so you can choose to control the best your playstyle. Okay, that's cool for mobile users. Now, that's interesting stuff. So overall here, nothing too mind-breaking. Um, just kind of, okay, let, let's be real here. Okay, cool. Like, uh, you get to play as protagonist of the mission. Cool. Um, that's good quality of life for a button for chain attack. Cool. I like that. Uh, challenging combat mission and game modes. Very interesting. Need to see more. Right? Shield defense. Improved display, quality of life. Unlocking new agents. Irrelevant for to get their avatar. It's 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 not that it's not even quality of life. And this is quality of life for phone. Okay, now second part. Optimization 
optimization, sorry, expect to be implemented in version 1.2. So 1.1 is in approximately three to four weeks, right? Because we just got Zhu Yan's banner, I believe, and generally the last between, I, I want to say 21 days, kind of like three weeks. Um, right? So in about three weeks, we probably get version 1.1. So version 1.2 is going to be in nine weeks approximately right so we're gonna be we're gonna be way we, it's gonna be the end of summer already right so for complete history commission exploration commissions we the uncollected reward will be adding a fairy assistant feature temporary name once you meet certain requirements you can hand over this mission to fairy and receive all the uncollected commissions reward after a set period of time oh okay that's interesting yeah for people who are completionists but don't want to complete it themselves while exploring the monitor, I mean, it will allow people who are not in, just kind of want to go through the, sp the story and speed through things and don't want to, like, look around for small rewards and stuff like that to just get everything. That's cool. While exploring the monitor array, the automatic accelerated playback when enabled will not be interrupted by other events. Additionally, the animation playback speed for some events will be increased, providing a smoother gaming experience. That's good. A preset lineup feature will be added. You will also be able to choose whether to include Bang Boo in your lineup for battle commissions. The lineup controls before the shield defense will also be optimized. That's good. The entrance location for agent training will be adjusted, and repeated combat stages will be added, making it easier to access training if familiar yourself with agent specific controls. Um, sure, that's good. After reaching a certain internet level, a feature that allows you to fully change your time will be unlocked, making it more convenient to adjust in game time. Uh, yeah, I think that's nice. I think that's nice. Um, especially when the game kind of like forces you to like go to sleep and some um, some quest only taking part in some time in the day. I can understand that it's not there right away, but it's nice that it's added in the future. Based on your feedback, we have optimized the background brightness in some commissions. Oh, okay, I don't know what this refers to, but that's good. And then for what we can be expected to be implemented in later versions. One, currently you can only control Weiss or Bell in the city instead of other agent. There it is, you have obtained. In the special program live streams of later versions, we will announce our current progress and future plans. Please stay tuned. What I'm very curious about this, how are they going to implement that for characters like Ben? I mean, I actually, I feel like the outside is not that big of a deal, actually. Because I was thinking like some places are too small to get into, but I was it's mostly buildings. And like, as soon as you go into the building, you could just switch back to Bell or Wise, right? That makes sense. So that's cool. That's cool, though. Because I, I want to walk around as whoever character I have. We'll be continuously improving the models for some agents to provide proxies with an improved visual experience. Okay, cool. Continue to optimize the interface interaction experience and combat interface UI. All proxies are welcome to explore the game further and let us know your suggestions. Okay, the above is just part of our opti optimization plans. We'll continue to pay attention to your gaming experience and further refine the game. We'll keep adding more fun and challenging combat elements and adjusting the balance of the different game modes. We are aware there is still much room for a team to grow and develop. Together with you, we hope to build new everything into the city of your dreams. Please continue to share your thoughts with us through our official feedback channels. There it is. Devs have listened. Gen... Not Genshin. Hoyoverse has listened. Actually, bananas. What can I say? I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think this is good, if this is not good enough, if you're gonna pull for Zhu Yan, if you expected, if you're looking forward to some of the big optimization they just talked about, what you want the most in the game, drop a comment, like, subscribe, and see you next time.